I have a friend who has these painted wooden blocks on their windowsill. Been there for years, and when you turn them around to see the side that was facing outwards, it has turned incredibly pale over time. Sun bleached, we're all familiar. The sun can somehow leach the color out of an object, as can most bright lights. So there's no flash photography allowed next to this painting, and your older furniture's been through it, and there's this one section of carpet near the window that doesn't quite look like the rest anymore. But what's actually happening here? For lack of a better term, where does the color go? How is it that continued exposure to light can change the way an object's surface reflects light over time? How can simple light change the color of paint? That's what we're going to be looking at today. Let's go. So, off the bat, we all know, color is just a result of the frequency of light reflected by an object. White light from the sun is a combination of multiple different frequencies. When it hits an object, some get absorbed, some get reflected, some might pass through, but the frequency of light reflected is what determines the color an object will be. I know that's not news, but it's an important starting point to figuring out how something like exposure to the sun can change that trait. Because what actually is it about an object that makes it reflect certain frequencies of light? So essentially, it's to do with the vibration frequency of the electrons in the atoms of the object. Light that hits an object will be absorbed if it's the same frequency, or a very close frequency, to what those electrons vibrate at. When this happens, the energy is converted into heat, and for our purposes, we can consider the light to just not exist anymore. It's been absorbed, it will never reach our eyes. Of course, this means that whatever frequencies of light hit an object and don't match the object's electron vibration frequencies, don't get absorbed. They get emitted, either out the same side as reflected color, or out the other side as transparency. So reflecting and absorbing color is to do with the vibrations of the electrons. That's how light interacts with the objects it hits. So this being the case, why does sunlight have a bleaching effect? Does exposure to sunlight change the frequency of electron vibrations? And in fact, how does regular bleach do it too? A lot of sources will just say that it's because ultraviolet light is damaging to the objects and breaks them down over time. Sure, the quick version is that ultraviolet light damages them, but that's not that different from just saying the sunlight changes them, which isn't a very helpful answer to the question of why the sunlight changes them. Photodegeneration is the name of the process we're looking for. It's when light helps to break something down in such a way that it changes what kind of light that thing absorbs or reflects. With sun bleaching, objects get paler and eventually pure white, so it's making the objects absorb less and reflect more. In the process of photodegeneration, what's actually happening is that the energy from ultraviolet light catalyzes a reaction between water and oxygen. The water being in pretty much all paints or dyes or coloring agents, and the oxygen being in the atmosphere. The result of this reaction is hydrogen peroxide, and all you need to know about that is it's an oxidizing agent. Oxidation is when atoms lose electrons. Like any good oxidizing agent, the hydrogen peroxide snatches the electrons up for itself. So it's no wonder there's less light being absorbed by the original object. It was those vibrating electrons that were doing the absorbing in the first place, and they've just been snatched. A lot of what it used to absorb gets reflected, because there are less electrons to absorb it. Bleaching with regular bleach works a similar way, but far more quickly and effectively than sun bleaching. Actually, sun bleaches just straight up are hydrogen peroxide, skipping the slow sun bleaching process of generating it by just dumping a heap on the object all at once. The bleaches oxidize whatever material or stain you put them on, and so they lose electrons to the bleach. All the bits are still there, all the material, but it's broken down too much to reflect light the same way it used to. This actually means that with something that's bleached or sun bleached, everything is still there. The original paint of the painting is still there. The dye of the shirt is still there. Nothing goes anywhere. If you get a tomato sauce stain on your shirt and bleach it out, the tomato sauce is still on your shirt. You just can't see it because it's not reflecting the light anymore. If we had a way to return the electrons to the atoms, restoring paintings or scrutinizing your friends' clothes for clumsiness might become a lot easier. So that's where color goes. 
The color is just a reflection of whatever didn't get absorbed by electrons, and ultraviolet light generates something that takes electrons away. Though, given that the oxygen in the atmosphere is required for this type of photodegeneration, that might imply that a painting floating in the vacuum of space wouldn't sunbleach. Or more practically, that a painting stored in a vacuum sealed box wouldn't need to worry about the sun or flash photography. I feel like we should start putting paintings in vacuum sealed boxes. At least the ones that are already in boxes anyway, what's the downside?